Hi everyone, so today we'll be doing some part modeling exercises and we'll be doing this one into 3D via Fusion 360. So based on our drawing, so this is a symmetrical part. A good practice is to always put our origin in the center because this one is in symmetrical. So I'll be placing our zero origin somewhere here in the middle. Going back to fusion, there are a lot of ways to attack this uh, part modeling exercise. For me, I'll be doing the slot type. So I'm going to hit sketch. I'm going to select this plane. And I'm going to draw a center rectangle. So I'm going to pan this one. I'm going to create it somewhere here. I'm going to sketch palette. I'm going to apply some constraints. Click this vertical line and constrain it to this origin. I'm going to grab my dimension. Or, better yet, I'm going to create my circle. So I'm going to place, place it here. And as you can see, there's a triangle indicating that it's in the midpoint. I'm pressing escape. Going back to sketch dimension. I'm going to dimension this one. And according to our... Uh, 3D specs. The distance is 76 millimeters. And the radius of the circle is 17. So this is in a diameter mode, so I can enter 17 asterisk, meaning times multiply to 2. So as you can see, Fusion also has a uh, calculator inside so I'm gonna pos just position this into a good view so I'm gonna stop sketch I'm gonna press shift in the middle of the mouse to orbit so I'm gonna select this region this region and this region I'm pressing control then right click I'm gonna press pull so I'm gonna gr grab this arrow upwards the distance based on our drawing is from the bottom I'm gonna click home for isometric view now the distance is 38 I'm gonna press enter so next one we're going to do the circle the tube around here so I'm gonna click sketch again so I'm gonna select since I cannot s there's this face blocking my view I'm going to in order for me to select that plane I'm going to hover my mouse over XY so I know based on the drawing the center of that circle is here. I'm going to grab my circle. I'm going to place my center here. And the diameter is 41. I'm going to right click to repeat that command. So I'm gonna create another circle. The diameter. There's there's a tolerance here, 22, 23, and 0.17. So either of the two. So that is the range. I'll just key in 22.23. Right click, OK, and I'm gonna hit stop sketch. And I'm gonna select this 
regions gonna right click press full gonna go drag this one so notice it became red meaning it's a cut select operation join and then symmetric drag this one again so I know the length of extrusion is 22 44 times 22 so now I have the basic profile so next thing I'm going to the view cube cube I'm gonna hit front so we're going to chop off the material here so going back to isometric view I'll go back to XY plane I'm going to right click create sketch so I'm going to pan this into view I'm going to create another rectangle I'm going to start my other endpoint somewhere here drag it to the left I'm going to grab my dimension so based on our 3D specs the distance from here to here is 51 so I'm going to click this one and click this one key in 51 next thing we know that the distance from here to here is 16 millimeters next thing I'm going to grab constraint I'm gonna constraint this one to here just to make sure I'm just gonna add a dimension here any dimension that will uh, overlap will be okay because our goal is of course to to remove this material so I'm gonna hit stop sketch I'm gonna zoom in click that region right click press full or extrude the operation should be cut and again symmetric so I'm gonna uh, remove this tips and tricks and press, press hide so I'm gonna grab this one change my extent option to all I'm gonna click OK click a double click on my middle mouse to zoom extents same with AutoCAD so next thing we're going to add the cylinder here so I'm gonna click this face right click create another sketch so we're going to create to you select center diameter circle zoom in so as you can see there is a circle there meaning this is the center point which is definitely concentric with this arc so I'm gonna click this one so the diameter is 25 millimeters I'm gonna hit stop sketch go back to isometric view select this one right click extrude upwards the length of extrusion is 3 millimeters next one so we'll add the through holes click this face again right click create sketch going back to center diameter circle I'm gonna create a circle here and I'm gonna create a concentric circle again so next thing I'm gonna grab my sketch dimension so I know the distance from here to here is 76 and according to our 3D specs from here to here is 41 so I'm gonna click this one and click this one 
key in 41. Next, it says two holes, meaning this hole and this hole are both 11 millimeters in diameter. So I'm going to place this one here, 11. And let's add some constraint. I'd like this one to be the same as here. The constraint for that is equal. Select this one. Then select this one. So now we can see the equal sign, meaning both are the same in diameter. So I'm going to hit stop sketch. So going back to the isometric view. So for me to select those two circle sketches, I'm going to turn off this bulb to hide our bodies. Zoom in and select this region and this region. Right click outside, select extrude. Going back to bodies, turn this on again. So for the direction, I'm going to select two sides. I'm going to grab this upwards and I'm going to grab this downward zooming out selecting through all for the extents I'm gonna click OK so next thing we're going to add a hole here so if you remember earlier we already made the sketch for the through hole here you can check that by dragging our timeline going back to our history So it's this one, right? So I'm going to press forward, going to the end. So again, going to hide bodies. So I click this one knowing that in my browser, so this is the sketch. So I'm going to turn on this bulb, zoom in, select this region turn on again our bodies right click somewhere here click extrude the operation is cut direction is symmetric dragging this one extends all click OK double click the zoom extends I'm just going to turn off this bulb to hide that sketch so next thing we're going to are to add another sketch here to remove the geometry. So I'm gonna click this surface, this face, right click, create sketch, going to sketch, selecting center rectangle, zooming in. So I'm going to place my center point on this vertical middle. So place my point here, moving it to the right. So notice when I touch this bottom horizontal line and turn into X, meaning it snap. So click that one. So going to sketch, dimension. Let's add a dimension here. Key in 16. So notice it turned away from our vertical first let's just add the remaining dimension 6 to make that align here we're going to use the horizontal vertical constraint so I'm going to select this one and this one so now both this point and this is now lying here on that vertical line stop sketch isometric view so zooming in I'm gonna select this region right click extrude zoom out drag this one to the left change my extents to all click OK 
So finally, we're going to add our rounds. I'm going to select this edge, this edge, this one, this one, and this one. Pressing Control. So notice I did not select this edges anymore. Fusion 360 will automatically select this tangent edges. So right click, fill it, key in 3 millimeters, press OK. So now we're done with our 3D model. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again on our next part modeling exercise. <laughs>